Today I'm going to talk about the concentration percentage, the molarity and normality. These are very basic um, chemical calculation principles that we should know. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the concentration percentage and uh, we are going to deal with sulfuric acid. So uh, the first thing that we need to know about sulfuric acid is the molecular mass and for this we have to know that the atomic mass of hydrogen is 1, for sulfur is 32 and for oxygen it's 16 and of course these are grams. So, um, the total molecular mass of sulfuric acid will be 1 multiplied by 2, so 1 hydrogen and 1 hydrogen, the two of them, plus 1 sulfur and uh, 16 multiplied by 4, because there are 4 oxygens, um, so we get 98 grams. So, one mole of sulfuric acid weighs 98 grams. And this is the first thing that we need to know, how to calculate the molecular mass. So, as simple as you saw, you just plug in the values of atomic masses and according to the number of atoms and you get the molar mass. Now, beginning with the concentration percentage, we have three types. One of them is weight per weight and weight per volume and volume per volume. And, um, and the concentration percentage in these values in the denominators we are always dealing with 100 so this is the weight per 100 grams the weight per 100 milliliters the volume per 100 milliliters so what does it mean we have a solution that's 20 percent sulfuric acid 20 percent weight per weight well this means that 20% of the 100 grams is actually sulfuric acid. So this means that there are 20 grams in these 100 grams of the whole solution. And this makes up a 20% weight per weight sulfuric acid solution. For the 10% weight per volume, what does it mean? It means that in every 100 milliliters of this kind of solution, there is a 10% ratio, which is 10 grams, of course, if you divide 10 grams by 100 milliliters, so you get a 10%. Of course, this will be multiplied by a 100. And finally, the 5% volume per volume, this means that 5% of the volume of the 100 milliliters is actually occupied by the sulfuric acid and this means that in each 100 milliliters there are 5 milliliters of sulfuric acid. So these are the methods of expressing the concentration percentage, weight per weight, weight per volume and volume per volume. So we're done with that. The next thing that we have is the molarity and the normality. The molarity is very, very simple. Uh, as we mentioned here, we're dealing with 100 milliliters or 100 milliliters or 100 grams. Here we're always dealing with one liter. So if I mention the normality or the molarity of a solution without mentioning the uh, amount of grams then I mean that this is contained in one liter not more not less so if I say that I have a solution which is two molar and it's a solution of sulfuric acid this means that 
we already know that one mole is 98 grams so this means that one liter of the two molar solution will actually contain 98 grams multiplied by 2 which is um, 196 grams so if I have a one liter of solution and it contains 196 grams of sulfuric acid then it's a two molar solution consequently a three molar solution will contain 98 grams multiplied by three which is um, you have a four and um, 294 so 294 grams so if I have a 1 liter solution that contains 294 grams of sulfuric acid, then it will be a 3 molar solution. Then finally we'll talk about normality. Normality is much like molarity, but instead of dealing directly with the molar mass, we divide it by the number of equivalents. And the equivalent the equivalents are the numbers of hydrogens or ions that dissociate throughout the ionization process for example the H2SO4 when it ionizes it will give two protons and a sulfuric group so we have two here so we take this, 98, and we divide it by 2, we get a 49 grams. So this will be a one normal solution of sulfuric acid. A two normal solution, accordingly, will contain 2 multiplied by 49, which is 98 grams. We can notice that, in this case particularly, the one normal solution is actually half molar 2 and the two normal solution is one molar so it depends uh, on the method or of measurement that you're using if you're using molarity and you have 98 grams in one liter then it will be one molar if you're using normality and you have 98 grams per one liter then it's two normal and so on so simply this is the idea of the concentration percentage molarity and normality and the next time we will have some examples to um, illustrate how to work with these principles so until the next time I thank you for watching and see you.